Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We got us uh, two Lagavulins. We're going to look at one, maybe two. Sip the other. That's right. We're going to test it whiskey donor style. Lagavulin distillery Ooh. style. Yeah, so you went to, you were in Denver. Colorado Springs. Denver. Well, or Denver, yeah, for... Springs um, is good too, but yeah. I was in Denver for a city Work. thing. Yeah. yeah. We won, by the way, when I was there. But I uh, ran into Whiskey Dawn or Whiskey Donner at the Cask Thief event at Stranahan's. And then he ended up coming over and he said, can I stop by your hotel and bring a couple bottles to you that he wanted to gift to the show. Now he's used some, some of the, uh, what's it called? The parafilm? The parafilm. I thought, yes. yeah, I thought you'd opened it. You no, know, I don't think I've opened it. He put it on it. I first thing I told him is, you know, that stretches. He used a good amount. Ah. <laughs> and he said, well, I, I wanted to make sure it was sealed. I said, well, I know the feeling. We did that as well. Now, uh, his name is Don. Right. Uh, you see him on YouTube tuning in. He's Whiskey Dong. Dong, yeah. Dong he said his buddies, I asked him about there. that. And he said his buddies at work, I think, started, it was Whiskey Dawn, his first name, and of course his buddies do. They changed they it. They changed it. They morphed it. And, uh, said, and you he, shall he, henceforth be known as, as Whiskey Dong. Whiskey Dong. And then Dong. he ran with it. Hello, hello, clean. Man, somebody's thinking about me. My nose is in. <laughs> All right, so this is the uh, distillery exclusive 19 year old Lagavulin cask strength. Yes. Uh, sherry from sherry treated American oak casks. Mm -hmm. Personally Good. selected by Ian MacArthur. Thank you, Ian. 53.8%. Limited edition bottle number 4082. Yeah. 53.8% um, ABV. Mm -hmm. Nice cork. Oh. Yes, you know, we still got a seal. Still got a seal there. <whistles> Sorry, yes. I will pour a little bit into this other. Uh, okay. We're, we're yeah. just going to do a group sampling of this one, which we had at our at our fifth anniversary. Is it wrong to put um, Lagavulin in an art bag? I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Now that's from Eric Waite. That right. is the 2017 distillery release yes uh cask strength also 54.1 percent. yes personally selected by the distillery team nice mm -hmm. Ooh, i can smell it for yeah sure. yeah uh 156 get you 157. 157 so we were in scotland we did a tour or we actually we didn't do the tour say that again we were in scotland hello on isla yes we didn't do the tour of Lagavulin to see the distiller. We just did the warehouse tasting. Right to the meat of the matter. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And uh, throw a couple pictures in here. It's a good time. If you're there, do it. We got to taste a 53-year-old Lagavulin right from the cask. Yes, and you got, well, you weren't the one that got the 53 put on your head. That was a that, Chinese yeah, or yeah. Asian gentleman. I had the 21 year That's cherry right. That's right. Poured, dumped on my head. <laughs> I was anointed. You were anointed. I did try just that. nice, sweet, Gosh, oh sweet God, so peat. Good. Yeah, man, it's does it get the, the sal? Yeah, know? it's dark. Yeah, I did. Salivating. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Uh, peat and just a nice I'm sweetness sipping. right in there behind it. Mm. You get them both. Mm -hmm. Don't know that I could tell you it was a sherry sweetness, but there's a definite sweetness there with the peat on the nose. Wow. Gosh. I get the tobaccos. There's a bursting at the front I'm going to have to come back to. Mm. Probably some of that ABV as well. Mm. Tobacco, tobacco, mm. tobacco. Wow. Wow. Go ahead. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah it's, that's what it does. <laughs> mm. you're, you're like, mm. Mm. you're pleased. Wow. Everything's pleasing. There is a lot of peat, ashtray, Smoke, fire, sweet. Now I'm gonna go back. I'm not necessarily getting any of the sherry with that. That was a lot of peat. Man. That was a lot of peat. Man, it really gets you after your first breath. 
good peat. Mm. It opens almost like like a caro syrup sweetness. It's got smoked peanut. Mm. And I talked with a little bit still in my mouth. I apologize. Mm. Man, goodness, the finish. Mm. Finish mm. goes on and on and mm. on. As you would expect. Little touches of iodine are in there in the finish. Leather. A mm -hmm. Smoky. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not quite an ashtray smoke in the finish. For me, it's more of a savory meat fire in your mouth <laughs> yes. is it a meat fire it's in a your meat mouth fire it's a savory meat fire in my mouth it's a meat it fire. makes no sense but that's what i get on it mm. <laughs> a meat fire in my mouth <laughs> wow gosh that's good okay thank you whiskey donger there there is a there's a sweetness with the peat it almost feels more just bourbon cask i think there's a, there's a slight hint okay. some of the sherry may be coming through it really feels like it's more just bourbon cask more mm -hmm. vanillas more citrus mm -hmm. and stuff with it yeah maybe there's a hint of the sherry finishing man especially on the forefront i could get the bourbon cask where it's that's mm -hmm. what i'm calling mm -hmm. it the caro syrup which is like a corn sweet corn and then it's like if I take a slight swallow, not the whole thing, but just a bit, and then inhale, I get all these rich, that's where I get the rich tobaccos and brown sugars and, no, it seems perfect. It's good. It's good. It is delicious. Maybe. Now, a lot of times, if, there, if there's a lot of the sherry cask influence... It comes off as just a darker sweetness with the peat. Sometimes mm -hmm. you get the sherry. I'm not really getting that darker sweetness. Maybe just a hint. Maybe just a touch of it. Mm -hmm. It really just seems more like, say, vanillas, citruses, sugars, caramels. And what I get peat. nervous about as the whiskey gets older, the peated whiskey gets older, is that the peat's going to be diminished. It is not. It is oh, not. You're saying because it's 19. Right. The older it gets, the mm, PPMs yeah. will sometimes settle in, and I don't get as much peat. I get hints of peat. Not the case here. Here, the peat is very forefront, but it's not the first thing I taste. That's what's kind of interesting here. The first thing I taste is like a sweet caro corn syrup. Well, maybe that's that bourbon barrel influence, and then it moves into what I would consider my standard log wool and peats. As soon as I added water, I got a little raspberry. Oh, God damn. I got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's probably the, the, now the sherry casking is coming out. I'm going to do one drop. Maybe the ABV was too high. Maybe the peat was too high. It is a high ABV. And that sparkiness dances in there. And um, Let me even add just another drop because I think that really... It the did, nose is a little more faint it than I would have thought. Heard it. Huh. Not any more than that. I think this might be where I'm used to the art bags and how they really climb out. Not that you miss the beat here, but but the nose is sweet and soft and rounded. Mm. Pete layered in there. You, you want some raspberry. water. Real you want some okay. water. Hold on, we'll Now I am wishing I had bought one of those when we were at the distillery at the distillery because they had those. And I did not. Very nice. It's really the peat is still a majority of the palate here. That sweetness underlying is there. It's nice though, but the, yeah, the peat is still what's getting you. I like it. I like I it with water. Get a little bit more. I was looking for the raspberry. I can't say I picked up raspberry, but it definitely gives me this, this rounded sweetness. Mm -hmm. I think you want this with the drop. You want some water okay. on that one. Definitely better. I find that is I delicious. I enjoyed it without the water. That's gorgeous. Hmm. Very the nice. The finish is different with the water. I'm going to need to spend some time with it. More I can fruit. definitely see, yeah. I would say fruit. I don't know. More if I sweet. Can. And it feels, mm. Mm. I don't know, it feels more rounded. That's interesting. We got to take a sip. Take a sip of this. You want to score this oh. one first? Let me see. Let me <laughs> what? Yeah, we can score. 
I know what mine is. Right 93. Boom. Now, what do you got? You could almost two. persuade me. Mm. You could almost persuade me to go 93. That's mm. good. How, that how, how good. would I persuade said persuasion? <laughs> <laughs> That is very, that's very good. It's very nice. <laughs> I like it. Mm. Yeah. So. Oh, let's get on it. Yeah, very good. You're very a good nice. man, I do sir. wish. You're a good man. That makes me wish I'd have picked up a bottle while we were there. So now to Eric Waits, let's just take a quick look. We, we did a live stream with Eric at our fifth oh, we anniversary. Did. We shared that bottle. We opened it. We shared it. 54.1%. Uh, now I'm wondering, though, does this have an age? Mm. Uh, just says bottled in 17. It's cask strength, personally selected by the distillery team. Yeah, I don't see an age on there. But that's all. Hmm. You want to take a sip first? I'm going right from the 19. That's right. I did a little water cleanse. Oh, yeah. Let me do that. Okay. That means I'm going to grab it. There with our Scotch Test Dummy Rocks mm, glass. That's good. That's a good glass. <laughs> Is that the Warrior? That's the Android? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Go to scotchtestdummies.com. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. 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 Interesting. Mmm. Mm. A little more raw. Mmm. A little more tingly. It's not as smooth or well rounded as you would expect from the 19. I would need to add some water. Do you mind if I put a little nice water? Nice peat. There's not as much sweet. There's not as right. much fruit. Mm -hmm. Very nice peat, though. That log there of is, and smacky yeah. in the face peat is there. There's not as much of uh, the different transitions. Because you're right, the, uh, the 19 was really. I can get the fruit even more yeah. so now. You'll have to go back and see on that. Mm -hmm. but. Wow. Sweeter. It's in this higher ABV. No. Okay. Fifty-three point eight. Barely. This one's fifty-four. Okay. Fifty-three, fifty-four. Not much. Fifty-three percent. We have to act like we're on a podcast. Yes. Like good people point. can't see. That is a good point. Fifty-three. We talked about stripping yeah. down. Yeah. <laughs> fifty-three percent on the twenty nineteen. Good call. Nineteen year. Yes, and there are a lot of people. Go ahead. 54% on the 2017 distillery. Because I have seen comments, people will listen to our show on YouTube. They're not watching, they're on their drive home, you know, to work or something. Good call, we need to really cover that. Yeah, side by side, both water, good, both water delicious. Definitely more of the uh, the sherry cask influence, the sweetness coming through on the Definitely, 19. 100%. I've added water, it's smoothed it out a little bit, but it's still, to me, that one's a little rougher around the edges. Delicious. You know what, though? It comes off, maybe it's a little bit younger, but it does come off with a little bit more of the peat punch. It does. A little bit more of the peat punch, definitely younger. I mean... Yeah. I think that one would be more in your wheelhouse, though. The 2017 it's, it's, one. Let me say, it's not out of my wheelhouse. Let me tell you yeah. that. <laughs> What, what surprised me here is I expected the 19-year-old to have an understated peat influence. It does not. It held strong with added sweetness. I can say the 53-year-old in the distillery. Was that was nice. good, especially in the distillery. All right. Um, really, I think price point-wise, the 19-year-old when we were at the distillery was pretty reasonable. I want to say it was like 150, 160 pounds, wow. somewhere in that range. I should have bought it. Yeah, I know. Now I wish I'd bought it. Yep. Very nice. Very if you're nice. at Lagavulin, buy it. Get it. Get it. Uh, both of these do have the uh, UK I do. stamp on there. Yep. Yep. Uh, thanks to the donger. Thank you, Donger. The whiskey Donger. Good to meet you, too. Donger need food. <laughs> Where's my car? Automobile? <laughs> um, and thanks to Eric Waite for the uh, the 2017 Distillery Exclusive, which he gave to us at our five-year anniversary. That was a good one. Uh, great to meet you, Eric. Of course, I met you at uh, Iron Root again after that, and we're going to meet up at Austin. By the time this airs, we've already been to Austin. We've already met you again. Yep, we've met you again. Scotch. I might have even kissed that bald head again. 
Wait a minute. Again? We got a Scotch God shout out. Oh, go for it. Yeah, I, I kissed his head at the fifth year on the live stream. I just I remember right that over there. I would have elbowed you. Late I would have got, right got that elbow in there and blocked My, you out. Eric, you got another one coming. <laughs> <laughs> Scott's got a shout out on this magnificent Saturday. Scott Jondro, and he's been watching and commenting a lot lately. Real. Um, Scott Jondro, he says that this is on our Brook Lottie Beer Barley, Bear, sorry, Bear Barley. Well done. And Organic. Good so save. Bear Barley 2008, Organic 2009. That's Love an Brook older Lottie. show. Nah, not that old. I mean, this probably earlier part of this year. Sure. Um, he comments, just wanted to drop a comment and say thanks for the reviews and the entertainment. I'm recovering from major oral surgery and binge watching your show. I'm building a nice shopping list for when I can drink scotch again. So mm. another thank you for that. Keep up the great work. He probably uh, turned 17, got his wisdom teeth out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hope not if he's drinking whiskey. Oh, good point. Never mind. Please be of legal drinking yes, age. Yeah, in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I was going to say it again. I know. Um, I think I th we got caught up on, well, I think we're caught no up. Patreon. Right. We we're don't caught say caught up. up. Oh, just in case somebody sorry. comes in by the time it's true. Yeah, it's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah, that's We don't have any. Currently, point. yes, it enough, could enough said. In the future. More are here. We, we don't always know. parse them out. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. 156, if I didn't say it. You did, 157. Slauncha. Dummies. Mmm.